Hi, my name is Keith Nitka. I'm the Battleship Operations Manager on board Battleship Wisconsin. And today, our virtual adventure is going to be about the one time in Battleship Wisconsin's three war history that she actually took a direct hit. So I want to thank you for joining me today on our virtual adventure. And we are on the O2 level starboard side aft, just above the uh, refueling station on board the ship. Now, it's important to understand that when the ship was reactivated in the 1980s, this deck that's above me here, or the overhead, and the passageway that's behind me, and this bulkheads, these didn't exist. This area was an open space, and at the time, this space here was the photo lab. Uh, in the 1980s reactivation, they installed the missile decks just above me and these uh, support rooms for the missiles. But again, in the 1950s, this was an open area. So March 15th, 1952, USS Wisconsin and USS Duncan, DDR-874, were designated as a task force and in conjunction with the United States Air Force, roamed up and down an area of North Korea, destroying railway lines, the tracks, the trains, tunnels, even the surrounding mountains of train yards and railway stations, so as to further disrupt repairs after the initial attack. It was believed by the United Nations that the communist forces of China and North Korea were mounting an offensive and they wanted to disrupt the supply line. On this particular day, Battleship Wisconsin and her escort Duncan were traveling south and the spotters on board Battleship Wisconsin thought they saw a gun emplacement. We made speed at 15 knots to the area where we thought the gun emplacement was. We did a preemptive strike on this uh, supposed gun emplacement, but there was nothing there. There was actually a gun emplacement on the uh, peninsula just beyond the island that we were shooting at. The gunners back here, the men back here that were working, saw four distinct flashes coming from this gun emplacement on the peninsula. Three of the four projectiles missed the ship completely. The fourth one struck. It's the one and only time Battleship Wisconsin's been hit, and it hit right here on this deck. A 20 inch by 30 inch hole was made in the deck. You have to imagine right here behind me was a 40 millimeter Bofors gun emplacement. It was gun number 15. Three sailors were badly injured, but all the wounds that they suffered were treatable. And almost as a personal affront, Battleship Wisconsin turned at 090 degrees and fired a full broadside, all nine guns, on this gun emplacement. Now it's believed that the gun emplacement was perhaps a 155 millimeter howitzer. Uh, more likely it was 152 millimeter because that's what the Russians were using uh, prior to the Korean War. And of course the Russian army supplied the Koreans and the Chinese with weapons. They fired a nine-gun salvo um, on this gun emplacement, and they blew the gun emplacement to oblivion. Now, the USS Duncan, who was our escort at the time, via flashing light signaled Battleship Wisconsin, tisk tisk temper, temper. Almost jokingly stating, you know, that was a little overkill on, on your part. But the Battleship Wisconsin and the USS Duncan continued on their mission and over the course of the entire day destroyed almost a hundred different railway stations, three enemy trains, four tunnels, and one mountain in conjunction with that one gun emplacement. So again, I want to thank you for joining me today on our virtual adventure. Uh, I hope you come by and visit the battleship. The, uh, the weather is changing and it's getting a lot more comfortable out here. Uh, Going to be a lot of things coming up in the next months and, uh, and weeks to, uh, to see and do, and I hope you all visit us really, really soon. Thank you very much.